Praise the Lord. I'm so happy for you. The rain has not taken your voice away. And nobody on earth, nobody by the river, nobody in the jungle will take your dominion away in Jesus' name. Tonight, I don't just want to talk about dominion, I want to operate in dominion. And I want connection. Where are you? Connection. Where are you? Connection. And as I connect with you, heaven will connect with you. Power will connect with you. Dominion will connect with you. You will never be the same again in Jesus' name. For all those who are online, I want you to push everything aside. Because tonight is a special night of connection. Online, radio, television, anywhere, any country, any continent, it's coming your way. What are you? Father, in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you because you are mighty God, a never failing God, a miracle working God, our creator, redeemer, and the one that gives us dominion. Lord, I pray tonight everyone will have total, complete, full, and free, and fresh dominion in Jesus' name. Confirm your word in every life and manifest dominion in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight we we'll continue a global crusade on the theme complete dominion. And tonight I'm reading to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 57, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory, the triumph, the dominion through our Lord Jesus Christ. He's thanking God. And you know, if you thank God in your life for the dominion to come, look at Jericho walls standing, and the people appeared as if Jericho walls will conquer them. But they went around one day, second day, and on the seventh day, while the walls were still up, they shouted, the shout of praise, and the shout of thanksgiving, and the Jericho walls fell down flat. And when you say thanks be to God, even while the cancer is still there, thanks be to God, while the blindness is still there, thanks be to God, while the paralysis is still there, thanks be to God, when it appears, the walls of demarcation between you and victory, the walls are still there, and you thank the the Lord, by the time we say the final amen tonight, all your Jericho walls are gone. But thanks be to the to God, which giveth us the victory, the triumph, the dominion through our Lord Jesus Christ. And now in Judges chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 13. Judges chapter 5, verse 13. Then he made him that remained to have dominion over the nobles, over the powers, over the principalities, he made him that remained to have dominion over the nobles among the people. The Lord made me have dominion over the mighty, that unconquerable enemy, and that unconquerable personality in your life tonight. The Lord makes you to have dominion. The Lord makes me to have dominion. Dominion tonight, I'm talking to you 
on our threefold dominion in Christ. Our threefold dominion in Christ. My, I make it personal. My own threefold dominion in Christ. I'm talking for myself, talk for yourself. My threefold dominion in Christ. The Lord affirm it in your life. The Lord confirm it in your life. And the Lord put it in place in your life in Jesus' name. When he says about our, it means everyone coming. I will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ in the family of God, in the people of God, in the family of God, our threefold dominion. The people in the first century, they believed in the Lord, our threefold dominion, and the people at this present time, anywhere and everywhere, where two or three are gathered in my name, where two or three they pray in my name, where two or three they agree in my name must touch in anything i will do it for them our mine and yours yours and mine i will not miss my own i said i will not miss my own our threefold dominion our threefold victory our threefold triumph our threefold power our threefold authority in christ christ has come and has come to bring us dominion he has come to bring us victory victory over sin victory over the strong enemy in your life and victory over satan and over the supplanter over the evil one total victory in what victory external victory all round victory the lord has come to give us tonight yeah. you will not miss it yeah. your salvation you will not miss it yeah. your healing you will not miss it yeah. your deliverance you will not miss it yeah. and in whatever area and in whichever area of your life you want dominion instant dominion internal dominion immediate dominion is coming your way tonight tonight the lord will wipe your tears away and everything that dominated your life anything and everything that oppressed your life the lord will clear everything away tonight in jesus name our threefold dominion in christ there are three things we're looking at before we pray. Number one, disengagement and salvation from enticing sins. The Lord will disengage you from everything internally, everything morally, everything spiritually that had had dominion over your life, even tonight in Jesus' name disengagement and salvation from enticing sins number two deliverance from strong and steering strangers deliverance total deliverance deliverance perfect deliverance deliverance complete deliverance from the strong and sneering strangers number three dominion help me shout dominion if that's your lot tonight, shout dominion. dominion. Is that your expectation tonight? Shout dominion. dominion. Dominion over sicknesses and evil spirits. They'll be under your feet. Yeah. Under my feet. Yeah. Every enemy under my feet. Yeah. Every oppressor under my feet. Yeah. Every stranger under my feet. And the power that had been operating stronger than your life under your feet tonight in jesus name dominion over sicknesses and evil spirits number one disengagement and salvation from enticing sins sins that's what the devil uses as a bitch to draw you and to drag you 
and to pull you into a snare. I'm sure you've heard about fishing, the fishermen. They go to the seaside or to the riverside and they have the line, they have the hook, they have the bait. And then the bait is something that will attract, that will entice the fish. And when the fisherman throws the bait and throws the hook into the sea, into the river, the fish does not see the hook, the fish only sees the bait. And then as he's running after the beach, and he thinks, what a free gift. Look at that man on top there at the seashore. He loves me so much, and he knows that I love this kind of beach. And the fish does not know that it's a bait to draw him to death. That's exactly what the devil does. He brings a beach, it appears sweet. It appears inviting, it appears attractive, but there's a hook there that the man, the woman, the human being does not see. And the bitch in the hook, as the sinner, as the human being, the man, the woman, as they want to suck in the bitch, the hook catches him and the devil draws him. That's why the Lord tonight. First of all, he wants to disengage you from that bait and from that enticing sin so that as you are disengaged from that enticing sin, salvation will come to you. Yeah. Salvation. Somebody shout salvation. Yeah. Point number one, disengagement and salvation from enticing sins. We're looking at Isaiah and we're looking at chapter 59 reading there from verse 1 it says behold the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save that he cannot forgive that he cannot disengage you from any bit the Lord's hand is not shortened that that hand the mighty hand the creative hand the mighty hand and the powerful hand that hand is going to work in your life tonight with power disengaging power with power forgiving power with power demonstrable in your life tonight in Jesus name it's the Lord's hand that can save it's the Lord's hand that can bring peace of mind it's the Lord's hand that can be renewal and change and transformation in your life behold you have to behold it you have to turn away your mind your heart your sight you have to turn away your personality from every other thing and behold the Christ of Calvary and behold the Christ of power and behold the Christ who is mighty enough to disengage you from all enticing sin tonight it will do it yeah. I said tonight it will do it yeah. behold the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear he can hear he will hear he can see he will see and he sees you there tonight where you are and the moment you make up your mind and you say yes lord i'm here yes lord i want to be disengaged from all the enticing sins tonight he will move on your behalf and his mighty hand the saving hand his powerful hand tonight will disengage you from everything that had held you and hooked you into that sin in Jesus name look at verse 2 there it tells us in verse 2 it says but your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins have hid a space from you that he will not hear what does that mean you know sometimes you are here and then another person who wants to help you is there 
and between you and the helper, between you and the provider, between you and the one that comes to set you free, there are blocks being set like a wall of partition to separate you from the one that will help you, from your helper, from your savior. From your healer, from your dear block. Then another sin, another block. Another sin, another block. Another transgression, another block. By the time you look up, there is a wall made by the blocks of your sin between you and the deliverer. And the Lord's hand is not short inch, and the Lord's ear is not heavy, but your sins that have now erected a wall of demarcation, a wall of partition between you and the Savior, you and the Helper. Now that wall is there, separating you from the power that will disengage you from all your enticements. And what we do is that we say, ah, look at that wall that I erected. Look at that wall that I built up between me and the Savior, between me and my helper. And then we break that wall down tonight, and then there is a free course and a free way, and the hand of the Lord will touch you. Yeah. And dominion will come to you. Yeah. And power will come to you. And salvation will come to you. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid the space from you that he will not hear. We're going to tear down that wall tonight in every life. In your life, we tear down that wall. In your family, we tear down that wall. In your personality, your behavior, your character, we tear down that wall of sin, of transgression, of iniquity. And then the Lord's hand will touch you tonight. Look at verse 3 there. In verse 3 there, it tells us, For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity, and your leaves have spoken lies, your tongue have muttered perverseness. And then in verse 4, it tells us in verse 4, none calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity, and they speak lies, they conceive mischief, they are pregnant of mischief. Mischief, evil imagination evil thought, evil action, they are pregnant with iniquity and they bring forth iniquity. But tonight, a change has come. If you cooperate with God tonight, a change has come. If you cooperate with the Almighty tonight, a change will come in your life in Jesus' name. Remember, remember, remember that wall of partition, that wall of demarcation erected by every block of your sin, every block of your evil, every block of your transgression will tear down that wall. I said, we we'll tear down that wall. You repent and turn away and you say, I disown all those blocks, all the transgression, I disown them. And the wall of iniquity will come down and then Christ the Savior, Christ the Redeemer, He will come to your life. He will save you. It will redeem you. It will turn your life around for the better tonight in Jesus' name. Look at Proverbs chapter 28, reading from verse 13. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. What does that mean? Remember again that wall, this block of sin this brick of transgression and this item of evil building 
the wall and then instead of tearing the wall you go to plaster that wall you go to strengthen the inner that wall you go to shelter and to shield and to cover that wall of iniquity so that even people will not see he that covereth the sin shall not prosper tonight you will not cover your sin amen the lord will clear away that sin out of your life every block you will tear down every brick you will tear down every sin that makes that sin prevalent in your life standing as if no storm can pull down that wall you will not cover up tonight you know sometimes when there is an evil doer and that evil doer like a sneaking serpent like a crawling serpent is going to destroy you and then you build shelter and you build cover to protect that serpent and that scorpion and that evil you're doing yourself a great evil because that snake that serpent that scorpion is going to grow up and when it grows up although you have been covering it and you have been protecting it then it comes to destroy you when you cover your sin one you'll not have the mercy of the grace of god two you'll not have the mercy of the love of god three you're not going to have the mercy of the compassion of god four you're not going to have the mercy of the salvation of the lord because you are holding on to your sin but when you're ruthless with that sin and you say this sin must go then forgiveness will come to you but whoso, whoso confesseth and forsaketh them not only confessing i know a lot of people that go to church on sunday they confess they confess lord i'm a sinner i've done what i should not have done i have not done what i should have done they confess they go back home they continue then they come back the following sunday and they confess lord i'm a bad person i'm a wicked person if thou shalt mark iniquity who will stand but i'm a sinner they confess they go back home they come to the crusade and at the crusade if you want to give your life to the lord jesus christ raise up your hand they raise up their hands i'm a sinner i'm a sinner after the crusade they go back again to their sin those ones do not have mercy they're still erecting that wall of demarcation they're still erecting that wall of division between the savior and the sinner but he that confesseth and forsaketh them and he says i throw that thing away i pull that wall down i destroy that wall of demarcation and division between me and the almighty god i pull them down he that confesseth and forsaketh them tonight as you have the opportunity tonight as you have the chance with your mouth you confess with your heart you forsake you say i'm not going to allow that evil to come back give me a good amen. amen i'm not going to allow that sin to take root and take effect in my life give me another amen, amen. enough is enough i have gone the wrong way enough number of times enough number of years and i will not go that direction again he that confesses and forsake them all the sins you yeah, have the mercy of god mercy is coming tonight forgiveness is coming tonight and the joy of salvation and the victory and the dominion of salvation over sin above sin coming upon your life tonight in jesus name acts chapter 3 i'm reading from verse 26 acts chapter 3 and we're looking at verse 26 unto you first god having raised up his son jesus What's the name of our Savior? What's the name of the one that comes to give us salvation? What's the name of the one that gives us dominion? Unto you first. Unto you first. 
as tonight the opportunity comes to you that you are to give your life to Christ totally completely unreservedly coming out of sin and coming to the Savior and when you are to do that you'll be the number one you'll not say I'm still thinking about it should I should I not should I come out of the suffering out of the shame out of the degradation of sin should I come out of oppression should I come out of the evil tonight you'll be number one Amen. number one number one in Jesus name until you force God have been raised up his son Jesus sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities amen amen, amen. amen. in turning away have you noticed sometimes you're looking at something and at the first time you look at it it's ugly it's repellent it repels you it turns you the other way and then you look at it again and it's not as ugly as the first time and you look at it again and you look at it again until you begin to love it there are times people do like that when you have the first contact with that sin the first contact with that evil you feel guilty this is bad this is terrible if you do it again and do it again and do it again and you behold it again and again and again you begin to love it but now the lord wants to reverse that situation you've been looking at it you've been appreciating it You've been enjoying it, but now the Lord has sent him to bless you in turning you away. Turning you away from all your iniquities. He will do it tonight in Jesus' name. We're looking at 1 John chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 4. 1 John chapter 3, and we're looking at verse 4. It says, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law the law does not know your title does not know your position does not know your authority does not know your education does not know your stature does not know your position in society if somebody does something contrary to the law he is arrested and he cannot say I am Mr. So-and-so. You cannot say, I am Mrs. So-and-so. The Lord does not know the title or the position of anyone. And you cannot say, I am, uh, you know, of this particular church. Because the Lord does not know that. Whosoever committed sin, transgresses, also the law for sin is the transgression of the law and there is only one person that can deliver us your name cannot deliver you your stature cannot deliver you the name of your church cannot deliver you and your rituals cannot deliver you and your sacrifices cannot deliver you and your religiosity cannot deliver you look at verse 5 but we know and ye know that he Christ was manifested to take away our sins he is the only one manifested he is the only one sent by the father from heaven to take away our sin tonight is your night yeah. i said tonight is your night if you will be sincere if you will be honest if you will look at the lord and say lord i know you're my savior you're my redeemer i know i cannot save myself and my religious ceremonies cannot save me you and you alone thou and thou alone must save if you are that sincere and honest tonight it will save you yeah. and in him 
is no sin. It will disengage you from sin. It will save you from all your sin. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Point number two now. In point number two, deliverance from the strong and sneering strangers. The strangers that come sometimes in a community, they were not there before. And then you begin to see them, they look strange, their movement strange, their language strange, their activity strange. And then if you keep quiet and fold your arm and close your mouth, and the strangers now have easy going activity eventually destruction comes in our lives there are strange elements that come in and they stroll in and as we allow those strangers and those strange elements ensnaring strangers and strong strangers and they come in into our lives into our families they do evil but now christ has come Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. When you cannot identify those strangers, Christ the Savior, Christ the Redeemer, Christ the Destroyer of every evil thing, He can identify them, it will destroy them out of your life. Sometimes those strangers, they bring sickness. That even the hospital x-ray machine cannot detect. And they say you are well. You say no I'm not well. They say you are alright. You say no I'm not alright. They cannot detect those strangers with their machine. But now the Lord Almighty will detect them. He will flush them out tonight. Every strange personality. Every strange power. Every strange evil thing, every strange poison, poisoning your system from the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Tonight, the Lord will get them out of your life in Jesus' name. Look at Jeremiah chapter 15. In Jeremiah chapter 15, I'm reading from verse 20 there. It says, And I will make thee unto this people a face brazen war. And they shall fight the strangers against thee, but it shall not prevail. They shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee. That's a manual. God with us, I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, says the Lord. Look at verse 21 there. In verse 21, and I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked. That's all the amen you have. The Lord tonight, by his power, the Lord tonight, in his grace, glory, and majesty, I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hands of the terrible. Yeah. Look at Isaiah chapter 50, chapter 54. Isaiah chapter 54, I'm reading from verse 17. It says in verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Yeah. Those strange elements and those strange personalities, they have strange weapon, strange invisible weapon that will destroy anybody's life. But as you come to Christ tonight and you say, Lord, I confess and Lord, I forsake and Lord, I give myself unreservedly, wholeheartedly unto you, my Savior, my Lord, my Redeemer, my Deliverer, and the one that comes to give me the victory and the one that conquers for me, as you tell the Lord tonight, I come with unreserved attitude the Lord himself will destroy all those weapons of the enemy out of your life in Jesus name 
and no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me says the Lord the Lord Almighty amen. somebody should have shouted amen. amen Galatians chapter 1 I'm reading from verse 4 Galatians chapter 1 we're looking at verse 4 who gave himself for our sins he gave himself remember now that barrier that wall of demarcation built by the blocks by the bricks of our sin that is now standing standing firm as if no power on earth and no power of a human being can push that wall down christ has come he gave himself for our sin that he might deliver us from the present evil world tonight is your night yeah. as we turn away from that sin as you embrace the lord jesus as your personal savior he has come to deliver you from this present evil world according to the will of god our father my time has come my time has come time of deliverance amen time of dominion amen time of healing amen time of miracle amen tonight as to link up with the lord and all those walls of iniquity they come down and they fall down that power will walk in your life i come to point number three now point number three dominion over sicknesses and evil spirits dominion somebody shout dominion, dominion. total dominion shout it out complete dominion shout it out present dominion shout it out perpetual dominion shout it out everlasting dominion shout it out it comes to give us dominion you know sometimes when people come to you and they give you something and they say this will shield you from every evil and from every attack if it is coming from man the shield is as strong as the man that gave it to you the shield is as weak as the man or the woman that gave it to you and maybe there's one papa somewhere and then he's in the villages you know before the shrine and all that and he gives you this and he says i'm giving you this and this charcoal will be your dominion it will shield you my friend that shield is as weak as that papa himself look at him look at his life look at his family all that he gives you will be as weak as any athlete he can be weak but when christ himself the lord of heaven and the lord of earth when christ himself the king of kings and the lord of lords when christ himself that came to destroy and to demolish and to overthrow everything belonging to the devil he has the highest heavenly power to destroy any high sin in your life when he gives you dominion that dominion will stand everywhere <laughs> dominion over sicknesses and evil spirits and that is what the lord has come to do and has come to give um, any sickness in your life any infirmity in your life that has had dominion over your life even until this day all that sickness everything will vanish away tonight in jesus name the blindness that blocks your way you cannot see the next person that blindness is the wall the lord will throw it down tonight that paralysis that has incapacitated you 
paralyzed you and gotten you there but read it tonight the lord will raise you up in jesus name because he is the one that comes to give us dominion over every sickness and over every evil spirit how does he do that matthew chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 16 matthew chapter 8 verse 16 when the evening was come they brought unto him many that had that were possessed with evil spirits and he cast out the spirits with his word no evil spirit can resist can overcome can say no to the word of the lord jesus christ that's the word that created heavens and the earth in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory The glory as of the only will drive away every sickness out of your body tonight. When the evening was come, like this evening, Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever, over here in the Alpha location, the world will have power. Over there, radio or television, the word will have power. Over there, on the social media, the word will have power. And this moment and this evening, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all and healed all. How many did he heal? How many can he heal today? How many does he heal? It's not doing it just because of me or just because of you. It's doing it because sickness is an enemy unto him. Infirmity is an enemy unto him, and it's a stranger unto him. And anywhere he discovers that sickness, that stranger, that evil appearance, if you are not covering it up, if you are not protecting it, if you are not embracing it, if you are not saying, it is mine, my cancer, it is mine, my ulcer, it is mine, my blindness, it is mine, my paralysis. If you are not holding on to it and you say, I expose it, I expose it to the Lord, the Lord will give you dominion tonight. Because it says, he healed all them that was sick over there on my right hand here in front of me and over there on this good side of me the lord will destroy every sickness and every disease out of your life in jesus name but why 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 verse 17 look at verse 17 that it might be fulfilled that it might be fulfilled that it might be fulfilled you know everything jesus did he didn't do it because of the atmosphere in that place he didn't do it because of the situation in that place he did it that it might be fulfilled behold a child is born behold a son is given and he came born of a virgin that it may be fulfilled and you'll call his name Emmanuel God with us and he came as Emmanuel not because of your
feeling not because of what you think or hear when he came to deliver when he came to take your sickness and your family away like he will do tonight i said like he will do tonight he came to be a fulfillment of the prophecy that had been given that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying himself look at that he himself took away our infirmities and bear our sicknesses if you present your infirmity your blindness your lameness your incurable disease your cancer if you present it to the lord tonight it will take everything away yeah. look at mark chapter five chapter two verse five mark chapter two i'm reading from verse five when jesus saw their faith when he saw that they came they came by faith when he saw they went to the rooftop and removed the tile and brought the man in front of jesus he saw their faith when he saw their expression that they knew and they said in their heart today tonight his power will heal this man that's your faith and as you come tonight expecting he will Amen. i said he will when jesus saw their faith he said unto the sick of the palsy's son that sins be forgiven thee have you noticed what christ has done there he took step number one the forgiveness of sin the salvation from sin the destruction of sin the pulling down of the wall of demarcation erected with your sin he pulls that down son daughter thy sins be forgiven thee and then after that if he does number one he doesn't stop there he goes to number two in your life he will do number one yeah. and then he will not stop there he will go to number two yeah. look at verse 10 in verse 10 but that he may know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sins it says to the sick of the palsy verse 11 it says i say unto thee arise take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house he was talking to a man that was paralyzed a man that was lame a man that had the impossibility of a debilitating sickness and he spoke to that man and it's what brought strength it's what brought healing it's what brought power it's what tonight is still the same jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever it's what tonight will bring power into your life will bring healing into your life will bring deliverance into your life in jesus name take up thy bed and the man did not say ah oh, you see i'm so weak i was carried here by four men i cannot whatever christ said you can do you will do if he says open your eyes you will not say i am blind i cannot see what he tells you will do you will do in jesus name if he says your broken bones are mended rise up and walk you will not say no i came in crutches i cannot do that what he says you will do you will do in jesus name if he says stand up from that wheelchair you will not say but i cannot for all these months and all these years i've been on the wheelchair once he says do it say praise the lord i can praise the lord i will and then you put your intention into action and you rise up and the power of the lord will meet you right there in jesus name i say unto thee particular i say unto thee if you have any infirmity there if you have any sickness there the lord is talking to you directly Amen. you have any sickness incurable he's talking to you directly and you have any weakness that appears to have been like that for many years he's talking to you directly tonight and what he says to do you will do Amen. i can I can. I will. 
and then you put that intention you put it into action arise take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house look at verse 12 verse 12 and immediately he arose and immediately he arose and immediately he arose he went back home with testimony I I will go back home with my testimony Anyway, you are, you might be alone by yourself in your room and you are watching a day soul program on your handset there, or maybe on the television, or maybe social media, Facebook, anywhere you are, or in a congregation, anywhere. Tonight, the Lord is coming with power. You will go back home with miracle tonight in Jesus' name. And immediately, he arose and he took up the bed exactly what Christ had said and he went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and they glorified God saying we never saw it on this fashion now your time has come now my time has come time for salvation Time for deliverance, time for dominion, time for healing, and time for miracle. My time has come. Your time is here already. I said your time is here already. It's about an eyes closed. It's about an eyes closed. Remember, there is this wall built by the blocks and the bricks and the cement of your sin that we must throw down now and Christ has the power to throw down to destroy and to remove all that wall of demarcation the wall of sin out of your life all you need to do is to confess and to forsake and to say Lord I know you are able and I am ready I want all my sins to be taken away so that the Lord will clear the way between you and his miracles. Are you ready? I'm asking a question. Are you ready? You will not cover up any sin. You will not embrace and keep and protect any sin. All that has built a strong wall of division, demarcation. Between you and the Lord, we're demolishing everything right now. It's bound and it's closed. You are ready for that. And you want the Lord to forgive your sin and take all those sins away. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. Remember, who will be the next, who will be the first, be the first man. Don't hesitate immediately. As he says, he wants to take the sin away. You raise up your hand anywhere you are now. In a definite sense that you are not going to cover up the sin you're going to forsake you're going to confess and forsake and you're going to tell the lord oh lord i don't want any of this sin to remain abide in my life anymore here and the lord will know that today you disengage from the past sins of your life and you have the salvation from sin you have that salvation now anyway you are you are raising up your hand god bless you there thank you god bless you you're raising up your hand you will stand up and indicate here i am here i am here i am i want all these sins to be totally forgiven confess them to the lord there and forsake them confess them and say lord here they are expose them don't cover up and say lord this is what i've been in the past this is where i've gone in the past this is what i've been drinking in the past this is what i've been smoking in the past and this is the dirty life i lived in the past expose confess and tell the lord and say lord by your grace
by your mercy i forsake them by your grace by your power i will not go that direction anymore and the lord will forgive you mercy will come to you salvation will come to you freedom will come to you and then the joy of salvation will fill your heart you will know i am a child of god now do that do that confess forsake abandon i will not go that direction anymore lord forgive lord save me and you will i'm going to pray with you now keep that hand up while you are standing up and anywhere you are any part of this country any part of this continent africa any part of any continent anywhere Raise up your hand and stand up there and believe right now that this is the moment of your salvation. Father, we thank you today. We come to you asking for mercy, asking for forgiveness for everyone that has sincerely, honestly confessed and forsaken their sin and they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ who died for every sinner on the cross of Calvary. And pray, no Lord, your mercy, your love, your compassion, forgive them in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray all the guilt, all the condemnation of sin and the damnation and the punishment, eternal suffering for sin, take away from every one of them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that tonight will be the night of their salvation. Confirm that salvation with joy. Confirm that salvation with peace of mind. Confirm that salvation with assurance in their heart. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I believe and I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. And those counselors will come to you now. They give you the paper to fill and all those details joyfully, happily, honestly, sincerely. You fill that paper. We'll call on whoever is moderating tonight to come and lead us in this counseling time. And then after that, I'll come for the second dose. And today, you have dominion deliverance over every sickness and infirmity in your life in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, let our counselors uh, walk uh, quickly. Let's get down the names of all the converts, those who stood up and prayed with our Father and the Lord, the conversion prayer, the salvation prayer. Let's get the names down, the telephone number, the addresses. Let's write legibly. Online, all those who are watching by television, and all those who are watching by the radio, on the radio, or listening on the radio, uh, and all those who are listening or watching on one of the social media platforms, we will find a link there that we can simply click that will take us to a page where we can also fill the form decision step will be found we can feel that supply all the information required of us we find that if you click the number if you click the link you will see the form you can fill online and please, as we fill all these forms online, let's make sure the information we supply are true. Correct telephone numbers, your email addresses, and all the other important statistics that are there. Please fill them correctly. 
They will help us to track you down for further information, discipleship, and helps and prayers. And those of us here tonight, let's please put down our names. And as the names are written and the forms are filled, let's be praying because our Father and the Lord is still coming back to pray for us. We have been told tonight we will all operate in dominion. We are not going back home the way we came. There must be freedom from whatever is holding us down, limiting us, putting us in detention from all sicknesses and diseases, all over the world, there will be dominion. Experiences. For all those who are connected online, we believe in God that as we are told, that's how it will be. Let our counselors wave to us if they are true. By my right hand side, the choir stand there. Wave to us, counselors, if we are true. If we are done, let's see your hand waved. Thank you very much. Far behind. Please let the counselor, let the counselors wave to us. If everything is done, so we can continue. Let's put all the decision slips together and submit them to the coalition center for processing. By my left hand side, far behind please wave to us if everything is true if we are done so we can continue thank you very much at the center and far back the interpretation section wave to us thank you very much Let's stand up, all of us now. Everybody stand up, and it's time for us to receive from the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody I said, Praise the Lord. Time of dominion, time of power of healing time of miracle is coming your way tonight as a drop that sickness and you say Jesus have each I don't want it anymore in my body it will be fulfilled tonight and when he tells you rise up you will not say, but I'm lame, I'm paralyzed, I'm weak. You will stand up. Yeah. When it says, open your eyes and see. Tonight, sight, heavenly sight will come unto you. Yeah. And when it says, that swelling, that tumor, that cancer is gone. Even before you open your eyes, you know, you open your eyes to a miracle. Yeah. And that miracle will come upon you tonight in Jesus. Tonight, the impossible will become possible. The curable will be cured. The one that is having pain, all that pain will vanish away. All that suffering will vanish away. All that stranger, evil strangers in your body evil strangers in your life what the lord has not ordained for you that stranger will flee away tonight 
and that thing that has become stronger than you are more powerful than you are the power of heaven will come upon that thing right now and will dislodge that thing disengage that thing and you're free tonight in jesus name wherever you are you have that ailment that pain that infirmity that incredible thing whatever it is there you raise up one hand and then lay the other hand on yourself and we pray and when we mention the name of jesus that thing has to go away from your life raise up that hand and place the other hand where you have the problem and the sound of the final amen you check up healing has come yeah. father in jesus name yeah. we come to thank you tonight we come to praise your name tonight because we know that everything we ask in the name of jesus will be granted and therefore lord i pray for everyone here everyone online everyone over the radio over the television everyone that has any need of healing of deliverance i pray stretch out your mighty healing hand heal them in jesus name lord i pray from the top of there to the tip of the toe i pray that you manifest your power and i pray that the dominion power of the lord will operate there in every life right now in jesus name insanity madness in the brain i command you be healed in jesus name those blind eyes be open right now and whatever then whatever bandage of the devil is blocking your eyesight i command the devil remove your hand from there that bandage come out of there and let sight come to the blind in jesus name i pray for those who are deaf and dumb and i pray that sound will enter your ear and sound will come out of your mouth and the dumbness and the deafness will the deafness will vanish away in jesus name the swelling in your body whatever the swelling is whether it's goita or elephantiasis or anea or it's tumor or it's fibroid i command all that swelling come out in jesus name i pray lord for those who have any internal incurable disease like cancer like ulcer like tuberculosis like hiv aids i pray that the power the hand of the lord mighty to save and mighty to heal and mighty to deliver will touch you right now be healed in jesus name lord i pray for those who are paralyzed or you have arthritis or you have a stroke whatever i pray that strength will come to you right now those with that hand stretch out you are well and then those limb legs stand up you are well and those broken bones be stranding you are healed in jesus name and whatever medical condition whatever suffering and whatever sickness i talk to everyone now and i come to the lord on behalf of everyone oh lord heal every one of them deliver everyone set everyone free destroy the works of the devil everywhere and manifest your power of dominion of deliverance of healing of miracle in every life tonight confirmation manifestation yeah. operation right now yeah. thank you lord because we know it is done in jesus name i pray yeah. amen yeah. your miracle is there drop those crutches and stand up open your eyes and begin to see miracle power in your life tonight in jesus name yeah.